okay, now we're going to start on page 159, figure 5.38. Uh, we're supposed to add some lines. So we're going to click there, come there, and presumably like that right there, and to that right there. We're going to click Escape, and we can see that we've got this little symbol here, coincident relation symbol there, and that symbol there. Alright, now then we're going to select the Extrude Boss Base Tool from the Feature Group, which is that one right there. And we're going to extrude the rib as a mid plane extrusion with a thickness of 0.125 inches as shown in figure 5.39. Okay, so what that means is we're going to mid plane extrusion, which is this one right here, mid plane, and we're going to reset this value right here to be 0.125. It is in inches. <clears throat> then we're going to click the check mark and this sketch, blah blah blah. Well, I'll figure out what the problem is and get right back to you. Okay, all you have to do is click on this area right here and it's highlighted. You've got your information done here, then you click on green, and it still says the sketch cannot be used for feature because the endpoint is wrongly shared by multiple entities. I'll figure out what that means. Okay, I found the error. There's a little line right here. don't have any idea where it came from. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to delete it. Okay, then I'm going to go back to my normal view. Then we'll follow the directions again and it will work. Okay, I'm going to do the features. I'm going to do this. We're going to mid plane 0.125. I'm going to do the check mark and it works. Okay, and it doesn't look as though it did, but let me show you what we're going to do here. I'm going to look at it from this direction and you see it's got some depth to it here. So it worked just like it was supposed to do. So now instead of doing the wire frame thing, we can look at it where it's got color. And there we've got the uh, view just like it shows in figure 5.40. Okay, I'm going to pause here, read the directions, and we'll get back to you. Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to select this. Then we're going to select Edit Feature. Then the directions tell us to click that one right there to open this up. I'm going to highlight that box. And then we're supposed to do the enclosed region. Okay, this may not be labeled uh, the same as the uh, book was. So I'm going to go out of that and click on this one right here. I think this, you see how this is a boss extrude 6? That's what we're wanting to do. Okay. So instead of 3, if yours is not labeled exactly like the book, you can click on that like I did and find out which one it is. So that's what we're going to click on. We're going to do the edit to feature. Uh, we're going to do selected contours. Going to click on that, then we're supposed to. We've already highlighted that to uh, do it. Then we're going to click on the check mark, and that supposedly is supposed to have fixed uh, the issue that it talked about on page 159. Okay, now your textbook says to uh, click the plus next to boss extrude 3, but since this is boss extrude 6, that's what we want to click. 
Then it says click on the rib sketch. In this particular case, it's four, but in this case, and that we're viewing, it is seven. Okay. Uh, then we want to click edit sketch, and you'll see what happened to it. Then we're going to switch to the bottom view. Which will be right here. And we'll get that view right there. And now, then, we're going to add the four horizontal and vertical lines shown in figure 5.46. Okay. Let's right there. First off, let's change this to a, uh, the wire mesh one. Okay. Now, then, we'll add those four lines. Okay, I've reset it and kind of zoomed in a little bit. We want to start from here. And going to go there. And we're going to go, let's see, we want to go out past there, the one line. That's two lines. This would be three. That would be four. And then we'll click Escape. Then we're going to use Smart Dimension. This one right here, we want it to be 0.5 feature. And we also want this one to be 0.5 feature. Okay, so we should be done with there. I'm going to click Escape, and that should be just exactly the same image that you have on figure 5.46 in your textbook.